He's going to be performing for you and in, in, in a way <laughs> workshops um, at the uh, Ottawa Home and Remodeling Show. His name is Chris Palmer. You may recognize him from the TV. Chris, how are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Good. Handcrafted by Chris Palmer, the name of the business. That's correct. Yes. Uh, can we just get into it quickly? So HGTV, you were on a bunch of years back and you were one of the finalists. Yeah, I jumped in. Canvas Anime Challenge. I had a little bit of a fun challenge, yeah. I guess. Uh, we, they threw you in there and you had a project. It was one sheet of plywood. What can you make? I came up with a cool chair. The rib chair. The rib chair, yeah. One piece of plywood, what can you make? Yeah. Now, you know you're a handy guy if you can make a chair out of that. Yeah, it was pretty, fun. It was pretty handy. Fun. Yeah. How long has Handcrafted by Chris Palmer been around then? Well, now, that whole thing started with my sister buying me a branding iron from Lee Valley Tools that says Handcrafted by Chris Palmer because she kept seeing me make furniture and little knickknacks. And I was big into woodworking since I was a young fella. Like, mm -hmm. when I was like nine, yeah. before I'd go to hockey on Saturday morning, I was watching Bob Vila and New Yankee Workshop. Oh yeah, of yeah. course, Bob Vila. Yeah. yeah. So nice. I used to watch all those like home building shows that were like old dinosaur age styles, but still loved it. And mm -hmm. it was funny. Instead of cartoons, I'd watch that, and sure enough, it rolled into me and stayed with me my whole life. Yeah. And I started building some furniture. My sister gave me a branding iron, so I could start branding my furniture that I was making. Okay. And then yeah, so that was like I say I was established in 2004. And then I incorporated myself into a full-time company, left the career of being an industrial designer where it was project management, computer work, and wow. all that business stuff, and straight into the old workshop. Now you're just building everything, pretty yeah. much, which is uh, pretty decent. You're going to be on the uh, main stage twice. Yes. Okay, so Friday, uh, Saturday as well. Yes. Uh, yeah. What are the times? So Friday, you'll see me at 3.30, and then Saturday, you can come in and catch me at 3. So if you mix it up and you show up at 3 either day, you'll probably catch a bit of me at least. Very cool. What exactly will you be talking about in these workshops, these so presentations? My big thing for people at home is it's a daunting task to renovate your home. It's a daunting task to think about any home improvement or even repairs. Yeah. So my whole thing is I want to build your confidence to boost your equity. So I'm going to give everybody out there a chance to feel like they can do something in their home. Mm -hmm. I think that's really good, and I think there's a lot of people out there that probably are a bit scared of renovations it's and true. fixing stuff up. Oh, 100%. Okay. Uh, what have you brought with you here today? Because I'm, I'm not a handy guy at all, I, and, and I know we were talking about yeah. that off-air, but uh, you could probably teach me a few things. Do we want to talk? I know that's a level down there, right? Th this is a level, So yes. I know that much. Yeah. Okay. So what have you brought down there? So what have we got down here? Okay, so simple things in the house. Under the cabinets, a lot of additional hardware that we can score. Okay. One of them is adding hinges that don't slam anymore, AKA the soft close hinges. Nice. These are like five to 10 bucks a door. You can pop them on yourself and it's as simple as using a screwdriver. Okay. They're all pretty universal. Screw them in, unscrew the old ones and pop them on and it takes no time. Okay. Now, other things are cleaning up underneath the cabinet. And I find this always a task where everything gets messy is mm -hmm. under the cabinet when you have garbage bins that pull out to save you all that hassle of ever walking out and reaching in to okay. find it. These are great because I find that the neat and tidiness of what you have of your messes is that much better. So think of the fact that if you pull this out now, you have access to dropping your garbage in without reaching in and spilling it all in your cabinet. Yeah, which is and kind you, of not fun. And the removability <laughs> of the bin is like another bonus. And then simply just push it back in. It's all concealed and you have organization, right? The best part is a two bin unit or you can get single bins, you can get triple bins and mm -hmm. it gives you that much more ability to have a neater, cleaner kitchen okay. and all it takes is four screws to mount that to the harness at the base of the cabinet. You make it sound like it's so easy. All you need so is four simple. screws four and screws. probably a bit of talent to make it happen. No. Too. Not at all? Screw, a screwdriver, <laughs> screwdriver, four screws in 15 need? minutes. Okay, fair enough. enough. Just measure the cabinet the right size, that's all. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's, there's maybe the challenge. Uh, where does the level come into play with this? Well, the level is just, just simple tools. A lot of people at home don't really know how easy it is to use these. Like, okay. They think all they do is level, but do you know what plumb is? No, I don't. Plumb is vertical. So when your doorways are out of square, you put the plumb up like this on your level okay. to see that the bubble sits in the center. And that tells you if your door is out of square. So if we're plumb and we're level, we now have a square doorway. So it makes it much easier when you go into doing trim so that you can do a 45 degree angle to get those two pieces to come together to make 90 degrees mm -hmm. versus a lot of doorways. No home's perfect. No. So that's why people want to get into trim work. They find it's like, I cut it at 45 and 45 and the 90 doesn't look good anymore because it doesn't line up on their crooked doorways. So. Okay. Do, do you, uh, did you make a lot of mistakes before you got to this level of, course, of expertise? Of course. Yeah. Mistakes are how you learn. I never think of them as like truly saying, I made a mistake. 
I made a new learning experience today. I like, <laughs> like that. That's one way to. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's like today I learned, I learned not to do that. That's so. impressive. Uh, what exactly do you have your finishes uh, as well? Yeah, so some finishes. To... Basically, I love I love simple upgrades in a home. So I like to teach people about what level of finish they can use when they're doing projects with wood. Or say you wanted to repurpose your kitchen and you didn't know what to do and you hated the color of the doors. Well, my favorite thing to tell people is like a spray paint can can go a long way. Mm -hmm. So something like this will actually recoat a whole entire door and it's going to cost you less than 10 bucks and it's going to give you a rock solid hard finish because it's a lacquer base. Mind you, oh, nice. this is something to do with warmer weather, outdoors, good ventilation and make sure you have everything masked off. Okay, so, so not for indoor use is no, what you're saying. No, <laughs> not this. No, you can do the foam roller stuff but what I like to say is like if you want to have a professional looking finish and do it yourself, step up to a spray paint can because these things are great. They have Two and one, they're a primer and they're paint. So you don't right. have to think about that. Fair enough. About a minute and a half left here, Chris. So uh, you've got different hinges, different. Uh, These are all handles. So handles. if you think about your kitchen handles That's on what I your meant. cabinetry, it's, I, you know. <laughs> That's I, what I, I meant. knew what you knew. <laughs> yeah. These are jewelry on your kitchen. If you yeah. ever took the time to swap out the handle on your doors, if they're just plain Jane, boring handles, and you really want to upgrade it, go here first. And if you love the doors, this is just going to make those doors pop. So mm -hmm. jewelry on the cabinet is what we call them, and these things can actually make your kitchen transform quite a bit. Okay, a a so I do have a bit of experience with changing uh, different uh, door handles or, yes. or, 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 or cabinet handles. Uh, this is very easy. It's so simple. Again, we're just looking at screws. I'm giving you simple things to start because once you do something like this, I'm boosting your confidence, and you're boosting your own confidence at the same time because you're like, I just swapped out all these handles and my kitchen looks that much better. Nobody knows the difference mm -hmm. but me. Mm -hmm. And it makes me feel better because when people walk in, they say, oh, where'd you get those cabinets? They look so much more expensive. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, all you did was take the time to put new handles on them and make them look that much more lavish. Good work. If they can't make it to the uh, home and remodeling show, I'm assuming that all kinds of fancy tips and, and everything you need at your website? My website, my YouTube channel, just follow Handcrafted by Chris Palmer. Look at dot com and I'm not, everything's there. Everything Perfect. you need. One more time. What, what are your workshop times again? You're, you're, uh, you're speaking? So 3.30 tomorrow, Friday, and 3 o'clock on Saturday. Okay, so it's going to be a fun weekend. It will be. At the EY Center. Yeah. And uh, nice to have you here in Ottawa. Thanks for having me. Anytime. All right, there you go. That is uh, Chris Palmer, and he's in town this weekend. We've got more daytime coming up in moments right here on Rogers TV.